to the town manager's report. Oh. <laughs> it's been a long night, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, members of the board, uh, let us remember that today marks the anniversary of the beginning of the worst conflict in human history with the bombing of Pearl Harbor. Let each of us give thanks to those who have helped secure our liberties and those who gave their full measure in that effort. Petitions for amendments to the zoning ordinance close at 5 p.m. this Wednesday. Filings that are to be made at the Selectman's office before that date and time. Petitions for warrant articles other than zoning amendments close January 12, 2016. An additional reminder to license your dog for 2015. This may be the last opportunity before you receive a court summons. See the town clerk to obtain your license. So that doesn't happen. We certainly do not want that to happen. Uh, Mr. Chairman, we have some other communications. I have a letter from uh, the Vincent St. Pauli Society. Uh, they are having a drive to hand out uh, coats for when men, women, and children of all shapes and sizes, and they are available to those in need. Please contact the society. They're going to uh, have a, an effort beginning on Monday, December 14, 2015, from 10.30 a.m. to 12.30 a.m. at Our Ladies. 12.30 um, p.m.? 12.30 uh, p.m. 11.30, 10.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Uh, at uh, Our Lady of the Miraculous Metal Church at... Um, the St. Vincent de Paul <coughs> building, 289 Lafayette Road, Hampton. Uh, while the White House uh, in the back of the parking lot on the right, uh, be sure to go. And if you need a coat, let them know because they're trying to uh, make sure everybody is, is taken care of for the winter. Yeah. Mr. Chairman, we had a request uh, which came through the planning board. Uh, the Board of Selectmen is holding a bond uh, for work at 20 Keith Avenue. That was a subdivision. Mm -hmm. uh, they had um, work that needed to be done on the wetland, and the, the bond, bond came through the Board of Selectmen. That uh, original planting failed. Uh, they have put in a new planting, which ap appears to be thriving at this point. Um, we did review this for the state. They have told us that the monitoring needs to go on for a period of five years. Mm -hmm. uh, the town is the one responsible should it fail and there is no bond. So the request, the, uh, the subdivider is that the entire bond be returned. Uh, I think you probably need to hold it at least until next spring to find out what's going on with the planting yeah. to see if it makes it successfully through the winter time. If it doesn't, they're required to replant the entire right. thing. And I don't think the taxpayers should pay for that. Right. I, not that I want to be mean to the developer, but um, they're supposed to guarantee this and it needs to be monitored by us and the state for a period of five years to make sure it does, in fact, continue to grow and prosper. That's a very congested area and very close to the... It the is, and, and the state is concerned because uh, there's Phragmites in that general area. If this material doesn't grow, that we'll have a huge stand of Phragmites growing behind this new development, which the state has told us will not happen yeah. and we would be required to clean out so up to the board whether or not you wish to refund the money to them um, it's not a big bond but I believe it's five thousand uh, dollars whether you wish to hold it I'm for holding the bond I have no intention of voting to release hold it, it. Hold it. Yeah. it sounds like there's a consensus to hold the bond very good we shall <laughs> well we shall do that well said. Uh, you are probably all aware of the fact that the Executive Council, uh, through Chris Sununo, uh, has voted to include $5.9 million in construction money for work on Ocean Boulevard, something that was not expected to happen, but in fact has happened. And uh, it's always nice to see that the state um, is willing to give money to the town. <laughs> we're, we're willing to accept, that's for sure. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I have a request from the Chairman of the Budget Committee. Uh, so far we have uh, uh, honored all of their requests. This one deals with um, information on the budget of the highways, uh, parks and streets. Um, and there are two pages worth of requests that need to be responded to. Um, 
I don't have objection to it. I did talk to the public works director today. He's out tomorrow because he had death in the family. Uh, but we'll be back on Wednesday. Uh, the committee would like to have this submitted uh, by Thursday, prior to Thursday, December 10th. I'm not sure that would be, that will happen because of the fact he's out for a funeral uh, tomorrow. But uh, with your permission, we will um, answer, answer these questions regarding the budget for the, uh, the highway department and uh, move forward, unless there's an objection. No, and Mr. Chairman, may I, in, w without stepping on your traffic, there were myriad requests from both members and the chair. We have a protocol. Those requests for information are emailed. There were four or five that were made to me verbally. I have no written documentation. Uh, the professional communications, and I'm happy to assist in any information request, but uh, I'm not about to go back and uh, look at my notes. I'm not about to go back and watch two and a half hours of meetings to find out who wants what. It's a simple email. I initially requested the chair to do that. Right. Um, there were others that requested information. The professional grade communication for any corporation, large or small, is to send the email through channels from the board liaison to Mr. Welch and to you from budget to us. So uh, if you, Mr. Welch, or you, Mr. Chair, could uh, make that known to uh, Ms. Latimer, um, then uh, you can look at what those requests are and uh, support those as you can with your up tempo. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Questions for the town manager, Mr. Waddell? No. Mr. Nope. Bridal? Mrs. Wolseley? I'll hold till under old business, I guess. Okay. I've got a couple more things, Mr. Uh -oh. Chairman. Oh, yes, I haven't okay. finished. Sorry. <laughs> um, probably tongue in cheek, but uh, I just want you to know that uh, Hampton has been named the top. Oh, yeah. Beer City of the 99 beers of the 99 cities in, uh, by <laughs> livability.com. So, what is? I, how does it become the top? I have I have no idea, but I'll be happy to let you read the uh, the email that they came. It was uh, I looked at it kind of tongue in cheek, and and I thought it was a good thing to uh, to uh, to deal with. It's all Smutty Nose's fault. It well, is. You do know that. Um, uh, Ham <coughs> or New Hampshire sells the highest amount of yeah. beer per capita yeah. yes. of any state in yeah. the That's because of the state liquor stores on the, you know, it's, it's out of state people buying it. Yeah. yeah, but I don't think they sell beer at the liquor store. Oh, they don't, no. They don't, right. no. Yeah. No. Yeah. no. So I don't know. Well, they go out and buy their groceries. Yeah. Well, they buy their groceries, they buy the beer. The beer is yeah. The cigarettes at the uh, yeah. grocery uh, stores. Yeah. So. Uh, I love out of town people <laughs> buy out of state. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Chairman, we opened bids uh, on Friday for the ice pond dam and um, well, we weren't very pleased at the net result uh, the low bidder was in the uh, $200,000 range and the high bidder was in the $318,000 range and the appropriation was $130,000 uh, in order to in fact construct the dam uh, and, and this figure is marginal I don't believe <laughs> anybody is going to bid under the three hundred eighteen thousand dollars of the high bidder at this point had made so marginally uh and i i'm going to tell you that i i, I think this figure is low that uh, we would need three hundred and fifty thousand probably closer to four hundred thousand dollars to do this dam that's going to require a warrant article and that amount of money which is a very big article um i'm going to submit the information to you in writing I, we're just we're just working on it now, um, but I mm, have some druthers about the size of that money. It's a lot of dough, so I, I want to let you know. Also, uh, we received a communication today that came through uh, co conservation that uh, the Army Corps of Engineers has modified the permit to build the dam, uh, and no construction can take place between April 15th and the end of September each year. Yeah because we now have a uh, moving into into this portion of uh, uh, the United States, the uh, northern long-eared bat, which uh, tends to uh, hide in the bark and in the trees, uh, knots and trees and so on and so forth. And we can't cut trees anytime during that period of time anywhere in New Hampshire. Excellent. Well, it doesn't help us with dead trees because they hide in those too. Um, that means that uh, we have a relatively really contracted window to do the work if you decide that you want to do it. Mm -hmm. Again, I will send you the warrant article so you can all read it, think about it, and um, 
decide whether or not you want to do it. May I, while the press is hot, Mr. Chairman, uh, was not in support of that uh, article last year. It was a petition. We're going to be right. discussing it anyway, aren't we? Well, I just wanted to, just, yes. just, just for an information uh, request, and when you please, because I did detailed research, uh, include the part uh, where uh, the engineers, uh, as part of that uh, analysis, uh, actually yeah. said that the beavers were doing a very good job of controlling that Absolutely. water. Well, as a matter of fact, and I, I don't know what we're paying the beavers, but it's probably with the long eared <laughs> probably the same as the long eared bat. We had an offer today to receive some beavers, surprise, <laughs> surprisingly or not, uh, because they're being cleaned out of another pond in another town near here, and they need to relocate them. And, right. and I suggested they might want to talk to the Conservation Commission about positioning them in that particular yeah. pond and build a dam back Lovely. for us. It'd like be free. Beavers? The other article that we're working on is the cable uh, TV channel 22 funding. As you know, we've talked about this at the last meeting, and uh, our finance director uh, will be happy to address that issue. Um, it's going to be under old business. It's okay. That's good. We'll get to it under old business. Uh, the other thing I have is that uh, the uh, assistant town manager has completed the process for your goals. And uh, I believe has distributed to each of you in your somewhere in your packets. Uh, I, uh, I asked for it. That's why it's in my packet. Okay. I asked right. for a All right. copy of yeah, it. Right. It's the same one that we had before. Okay. okay. I believe. All right. I'm okay. done. Okay. And so I wanted to ask. Um, now, when it comes to Phragmites, are people supposed to ever touch them themselves? Once the Phragmites go into bloom. They should be left alone because the worst thing that can happen is to shake those things and get the Spread seeds it. over everywhere. Yeah. Okay, let them die off naturally. Um, we had started a program on Tide Mill Road right. uh, in the spring a few years ago, uh, just before summer, of cutting back two stands of Phragmites. And we did that for two years. And we started to stunt the growth in those Phragmites. Mm -hmm. And then we were told by the state to stop. Uh, Why? I'm going, well, because they don't like the idea of us out there in the water cutting these things. Um, they they, they want to try some different methods to get rid of them, and, and I, I don't know. They haven't done anything. So I'm going to go back to doing that and see if we can't eradicate one of those stands because we need to do a little experimentation and this sort of thing. Uh, we're even going to try, I think, if we can get the proper permits and clearances to do some uh, Phragmite inoculation. As you know, Phragmites are, uh, they have rhizomes and they interconnect with each other. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that we had thought of doing is injecting them um, at one end and letting it kill the whole stand right straight through with an insecticide, but we'd have to have permission from the state to do that. So we're going to try to do that. We're going to try to cut a stand and see if we keep it cut, whether or not it'll kill them off. Uh, but we need to start working towards that because they're getting more numerous. We just cut on hard arts way this year. I went by the guys who were chopping them down. Well, and they're already regrowing. And they've got to wow. chop them again, and then they're going to actually pull the root systems out. Yeah. And I of think course, it's obvious the Phragmites are winning. I already knew the yeah, answer they are. to that right. question, but I yeah. thought I would ask as a, for um They're going to knowledge. poison those ones, and they're going to kill them off that way, they hope. Uh, uh, they hope. They hope. We'll see. Um, we will. <laughs> The I like I said I knew the answer to that question. I just yep. wanted to bring that up, and I wanted to ask about are are people supposed to be cutting brush out around at the marsh in the marsh area? You shouldn't or trees, be. You shouldn't you know, be anywhere out there without up. talking to the conservation commission. Because I hear that um, the condominium that's uh, being built right now Ooh. down at on Ocean Boulevard the. Oh yes, I know where it is. Yeah. The, the one that has the houses in the back, yeah, and the, right. that they were cr uh, cutting down, taking out the brush uh, behind that. That's in wetland. Well, it's what? It's in wetland, I believe. Yeah, well, it wasn't even their yard. They were doing someone else's yard. Oh, that's nice. I don't know if it was by mistake or whatever, but they were <laughs> supposedly. I hear they had to. They stopped. That that lot was all surveyed. Kind of had to make a mistake with the surveyor's tape. Uh, well, maybe that's something that needs to go to the conservation. I will talk to conservation in the morning, sir. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I someone caught gave me that. Yeah. Report. We'll check it out. Okay. Um, other questions for the town manager. Well, I've got. Move. About his report? No. Okay.